like a lot of things. I like cats, I like dogs, I like origami, I like rainbows, but most importantly, I like cake, coffee, and chocolate. Today, I'm gonna show you how to use those three ingredients, plus a couple of other things, to write your very own folk tune. Before you go and panic on me about how you've never read sheet music before or never written a piece of music, seriously, don't worry about it. Uh, you do not need any music reading skills to be able to do this. I'm going to show you the rhythms. I am going to tell you what notes to use and I will also show you a tool that you can use to generate it randomly. To write our little folk tune, we need three ingredients. Cake, coffee, and chocolate. We click a beat here. Our cake is going to take up three clicks worth of time. coffee is going to take up a two and a one giving us a long short coffee 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 chocolate is our last one and we split the syllables up each to take up one click chocolate 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 for those of you who read music and might like to write this out on some manuscript paper, we are working in 6-8 time, meaning we have 6 of these little guys, you may know them as quavers or 8th notes, in our bar. Let's talk notes. You can see I have written some letters on the board behind me. These each equal different sounds. Uh, specifically on the way up, they sound G A B D E G like that. If you have a piano at home, you can find these notes on the keyboard, respectively. G A B, skip one, D E, skip one, G. If you want to get technical, you can call this particular cluster of notes a pentatonic scale. We are using one, two, three, four, five unique letter names to describe the sound that this makes all together. Draw a little house under the G. That's because G is our home note. This is the note that we're going to start on to set the tone for the piece of music. And it's also the note that we're going to return to to make the piece sound finished. If you want to think of it like a journey, you start your day in your house, you get up, you go about your day, you might go to school, you might go to work, you might walk with the dogs, you might potter around in the garden, and then once the day is done, where do you go? You return home. We have our rhythms. Cake, coffee, chocolate. We also have our notes. G, A, B, D, E, G. Now, we're gonna combine it with a dice. I like to roll for rhythm first because what rhythm we get will dictate how many notes we will use. To acquire enough rhythm for our piece of music, we're going to roll the dice eight times. If it lands on a one or a four, it's a cake. If it lands on a two or a five, it's a coffee. If it lands on a three or a six, it's a chocolate.
I rolled for my rhythm, and this is what I got. Chocolate cake, cake, coffee cake. Chocolate cake, chocolate. I don't know if you're hungry, but this is making me hungry. If you want to go one step further with your musical organisation, we can divide these into bars. You want every bar to add up to six, and conveniently enough, each of our food words, if you remember, takes up three clicks. So, chocolate cake gives us the first bar, cake, coffee gives us the second bar, cake, chocolate gives us the third bar, and then the one that's left over gives us the fourth bar. Our piece of music needs one more thing. Enough notes to go with the amount of syllables in our cake, coffee and chocolate. Our first and last are really easy. We're going to just go ahead and fill in our home note, which is a low G. I have designated low by putting a little down arrow next to it. <laughs> first note, last note. Now we need to roll for the rest of our syllables. The dice did deliver me enough notes to go with the rhythms that I rolled beforehand. I've written them in under our food words, and now I'm going to sing it to you. G G E B G B G B E G E A. have it. This is how you can write your very own folk tune using five notes, a few different foods, and no sheet music knowledge at all. I hope you've had some fun and if you do end up doing this please do tag me on all the social media. I am at the Emerald Ruby everywhere you can have a social media account. My cat Fish and I hope you have a good morning, evening, afternoon, depending on where you exist in our current timeline, and I will see you on the flip side. Have a good day.